Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following pedigree shows the inheritance of recessive trait and least there is uh, evidence to the contrary assume that the individuals who have married into the family do not carry the recessive allele what is the chances that the offspring of the following matings will show the trait 31 and 312 so 31 in third generation and 3 12. So we connect these two people and we have to find probability that the child, so sex is not specified, it's not important, so I use this sign that the child would have this genetic disorder. So take a look, we have a couple here that has four children and as you see this couple has a child, this couple has a child, so basically this woman and this woman are sisters. So we have here uh, consanguineous mating between close relatives and these relatives are cousins. Let's first think about genotypes in this family. For example, because this is recessive trait in order for the person number one in the first generation to be affected this person have to be homozygous recessive. But what is the genotype of this person? Because we see that one of the child, the daughter is affected, she have to get two recessive alleles. From mother's side, she can get only one recessive allele, but second recessive allele this person got from father's side. That means that father have to be capital A small a. His phenotype is normal, but this person is a carrier. So what is the probability that this person is also going to be a carrier? Let's use simple Punnett square. So we know that father is heterozygous. We know it for sure, 100%. We know that mother is homozygous recessive. And when we build simple Punnett square, we would be able to predict uh, probability for the daughter who shows normal phenotype to be heterozygous. And as you see, we can exclude uh, this variance. The daughter is not affected, but she, as you see, obligate carrier. So now we know for sure that this person is 100% carrier of this genetic disorder. So her genotype is capital A and small a. We assume that genotype of her husband is capital A, capital A, because according uh, again to our problem, unless there is evidence to the contrary, assume that the individuals who are married into the family do not carry the recessive allele. We don't see any evidence that uh, any of the children have this genetic disorder, so we have to assume that this person phenotypically and genotypically normal. In order to find the probability for this person to be a carrier, we just have to build another Punnett square. So this time male is homozygous normal and we know that female is heterozygous. We know that she is obligate heterozygous. So what is the probability that the child would be carrier? And chances are as follows. So capital A small a here and capital A small a here. And probability is going to be 50%. 50% chances that uh, child of this family, this daughter, is heterozygous. So her genotype is capital A, small a. Probability would be one half. And another one half or another 50% would be probability that this person is 
genetically and phenotypically normal. Now let's return to this family here. And we know that this person is obligate uh, homozygous recessive. None of the children are affected. So we assume that her husband is phenotypically and genotypically normal. I think that this time we don't need to build a Punnett square. We know that all the children, child number 11, 12, and 13, are obligate heterozygous because from mother's side they only can inherit recessive allele and from the father's side they only can inherit dominant allele. Person number 12 is obligate heterozygous 100%. And we also can say one, or we also can say one over one. All these are equal. So all these numbers. Take a look. If we have two people, this female has probability one half to be a carrier. This person is uh, phenotypically normal, just like this person, but obligate carrier. What is the chances that the child would have this genetic disorder. We need to build another Punnett square. Let's again assume that both parents are carriers. The probability to have affected child would be uh, one quarter. Take a look. Capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a. And we are interested in this person who is affected. So probability is one quarter. And three quarters would result in normal phenotype. Now, uh, final step. Probability for mother to be a carrier is one half. So one half for a mother to be a carrier. Probability for a father to be a carrier, as you see, is 100%. But if you like, let's use one over one. This fraction, which is also means 100% or one. And uh, probability that this family would have affected child is one quarter. So we have to multiply all these numbers. So this male, and this is the unborn child. We don't know sex. So as you see, simple calculations show us that probability that the child would have this genetic disorder is one eighth. And this is going to be our final answer. If you need an answer in percentage form, you just have to divide one by eight and multiply by 100. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.